Since the COVID-19 pandemic began three years ago, its origins have become a topic of political and scientific debate. There are currently two main theories that exist. The first one, the virus spilled over from animals uh, to humans, most likely from a market in Wuhan, China. The second theory uh, claims that the virus spread from the Wuhan Institute of Virology after an accident. But this Wednesday, the latter uh, started to gain traction after FBI Director Christopher Wray said in an interview to Fox News that COVID-19 most likely originated in a Chinese government-controlled lab. But the scientific community is less divided on this question. Virologists say there is very convincing data pointing to an animal or what they call zoonotic origin. Specifically, they conclude that the coronavirus most likely spread from a caged wild animal uh, to humans at the Huanan seafood market back in December 2019. And one criticism from the scientists that study uh, COVID-19 is that they're unable to look at the evidence the FBI is basing their lab leak claim on. The problem is that information is not shared, so it's very difficult to see how, how that compares with the information there is for zoonotic uh, spillover. And if new evidence comes in, that needs to be reviewed, uh, and then maybe you reach a different conclusion. That's not a problem. The problem is this is not a scientific discussion, but it's a political discussion. And mixing those two... Um, in my view, makes the discussion very difficult. A joint China and WHO investigation in 2021 uh, called the lab leak theory extremely unlikely. However, the investigation has since then been deeply criticized and the WHO has called for a new inquiry. And in a statement provided uh, to the Cube via email, a spokesperson of the WHO said, until we have more evidence, all hypotheses are still on the table. Meanwhile, some virologists worry the FBI statement could lead to a renewed wave of harassment against scientists. It's a controversial topic, of course, and that's why I hope that they really act very responsibly and share the information so that it really can be followed up. But scientists also say that it's extremely difficult to come to a definite conclusion so soon. Just a reminder, it took 29 years to identify the source of Ebola and 26 for HIV. So we may not get a conclusive answer for the origins of COVID-19 anytime soon.